My name is Anthony Busalis, and today we have two original full competition Shelby Cobras 427s. They're both mine. The blue one is CSX3016. The red one is CSX3026. Blue one has raced at the 12 Hours of Sebring in 1966, came in first in its class, and has set a lap record at Watkins Glen, New York in August of 1966. The red one did race at Brands Hatch in Europe in uh, 1967, and it raced back east in the United States. In the late 60s, it raced in West Virginia and New Hampshire and set track records at both of those tracks. Both cars have done historic racing in the more recent years. The original Cobras that Shelby built came out in 1962. He came out with the 289. He only built about 60 some odd 289s with 260 cubic inch blocks. Shortly after that, he came out with the 289. Uh, this is still in 1962. Uh, however, he's looking for about another 100 horsepower. Thus, the 427 was born. These are two of the first 427s built. They were built in 1965. That's the first year of the 427. Certain cars were constructed specifically as full competition cars. Others were constructed as semi-competition cars, and the vast majority of the 427s, 260, are street 427s. The Shelby American Auto Club has a registry. Both of these cars are shown in the registry to be original full competition Cobras with racing history. The blue one I've had for four years was already restored when I got it. I, I did uh, rebuild the engine and I've rubbed the paint out. Other than that, it's just as I, as I got it. The mechanical specs on the blue one, 427 side oiler motor. It's called a medium riser, which works better on the street and for some racing applications. It's been stroked slightly, so it's running about 450 cubic inches. It's putting out more than 500 horsepower, about 550. Torque's about 500. Transmission is a four-speed top loader. There is no overdrive, so that's turning pretty high RPM. Rear end is a Salisbury, which is the stock rear end that it came with, and it's running 354 gears, which will allow the car to go about 165 miles an hour. Change the rear end gears, and the car will do 185. When they raced, they each had numbers. The numbers that are on there now are the more recent numbers from the historic racing. For example, it has the number seven, but when it raced in 1966, it had the number six. And it was painted silver at that time with thin red, white, and blue stripes. I'm not really sure about the, uh, about the color of the red one when it raced. There's not a whole lot known about the details of the brand's hatch in Europe. We just know it raced there. I've had the red one for about eight months. The compression on that is 12.5 to one. The blue one's running about ten and a half to one. The red one needs racing fuel to run properly. And that's the way the car came for the factory, and that's the way it raced. 427 side oiler, but that's a high riser. The intake and heads are high rise. Transmission is also a Ford Speed top loader. That's what they came with. So it also has a Salisbury rear end in it. Gears are also 354 on the red one. The competition Cobras had a different suspension than the street 427s. Coney shocks did not come standard on the street 427s, but it was standard on the competition 427. The interesting point, though, is that the competition 427s have a 42-gallon fuel cell. So when that thing is full, you're probably right about 50-50 at that point. The red one right now has its original FIA magnesium wheels that it raced with back in 1966-67. It's unusual to find that because the magnesium wheels can deteriorate but these wheels are in good condition, and that's very unusual to find that on the competition cars. Most of them will replace them. Blue one has the replica Halibrand wheels. The distinction I'd like to make here is that there are 21 full competition and 31 semi-competition. Some people have a tendency to lump the competition cars together and call them all SCs. But these are not SCs. These are two of the 21 full competition Cobras. And the distinction is that the SCs came on the street. They were detuned. They put bumpers back on them. These are full competition, not semi-competition cars.
the Cobra to me is more of an exotic than it is a classic. Simply the shape of the car, it's a very sexy shape. 